Is there a new promo coming this Friday, tomorrow, the 6th of March, to FIFA Ultimate Team? And if not, what promo is actually going to be coming out next? Because it is a bit confusing, so I'm going to be breaking it down so that you guys can fully understand what is going on. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to make lots more videos just like this one. Whenever a new promo is on its way, I'm going to be talking about what exactly is going to be released, how it's going to be affecting in the market is going to be going up is going to be going down explaining any loading screens any teasers that are going to be coming from ea sports so definitely make sure that you are subscribed so you are always staying ahead of everyone else so getting straight into this video now there hasn't actually been a loading screen released today when i'm making this video on thursday there is a chance maybe it could actually come later on but usually at least we do get a few days before a promo like maybe on wednesday definitely at least on thursday 6 p.m uk time we do get a loading screen that's actually hinting to the promo we are going to get on the following friday but it is a bit strange for some reason we didn't actually get one today which is why some people have come to the conclusion that there isn't actually going to be a promo which to be honest would actually be a long-awaited break from all of these constant promos just one after another it is becoming quite pointless and hopefully ea sports are going to take a step back a little bit because everyone does need a break from this too many special cards I have talked about it before however EA Sports have actually said that we are going to be getting Copa Libertadores content which is a promo in itself coming to Ultimate Team this Friday the 6th of March so just to add clarity EA Sports have worked together with a South American competition being Copa Libertadores which is actually our European equivalent to the Champions League which is absolutely huge so they are actually trying to get some new fans to the South American football that is the whole point the whole advertising campaign campaign of this so an update was released on tuesday the 3rd of march for career mode and kickoff and on this same day ea did add a message in fifa ultimate team stating that all of the updates to fifa 20 modes have been added and get the ultimate connection to the competition with custom content in fifa ultimate team starting march the 6th which is this upcoming friday perhaps because there is no loading screen it does actually suggest this content is going to be only something small that is what some people have been thinking about. But eSports have a website for Copa Libertadores as well, where it also mentions coming to foot, select special items, and also themed in-game content, which definitely suggests a full promo with a squad, weekly objectives, and SBCs, the general gist that we do have, something similar to a Future Stars promo, pretty much copy and paste, just with different cards. And what sort of cards are going to be released it is going to be players from the top teams in South American football not already in foot is why I'm guessing the whole point of this is going to be eSports to actually have all of the licenses so fingers crossed hopefully for River Plate, Boca Juniors, Flamingo, all of those sort of clubs we are going to see some players from there and with like huge upgrades and hopefully it's actually going to be a small amount of players that's how I think it would be best but we are going to see how EA are going to do it. We also know that EA have started Icon Moments and also Prime versions of players that have actually history with the Copa Libertadores tournament from South America so I do expect more of that on this Friday as well some people that are interested how is this going to impact the market it is pretty much going to stop the market from recovering if we didn't get this promo then it would have actually just maybe slightly started recovering that is pretty much what the market needs right now a break from all of this but this is just going to stop that from happening it's not going to recover and it's just going to cause more players to go down because the demand just isn't there and it's also the general amount of users actually playing FIFA 20 right now playing for champions everything like that I have talked about it in my other market crash videos specifically about that hope this video did help you guys out if you have any other questions definitely comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time